mybeerjourney.com and uh, it's been a while since I uh, last did a broadcast sorry about that I've been very busy working and and in fact what I've done is I haven't actually drunk much in the meantime uh, I've been saving myself now I want to show you something that um, another local brew here Queensland 4x bitter now this is bit of an iconic beer here in Queensland. It's not a microbrewery. It's actually uh, brewed here by Castle Main Perkins and uh, they have a brewery in Brisbane in fact. And uh, I've actually done the brewery tour, the, the Forex brewery tour, uh, many many years ago and uh, it was very very good. So uh, one of these days I'll cover that and I'll show you the brewery uh, again. Um, but uh, for today I wanted to uh, show you this. As I've said in the past I like to drink cans when they're available because they cool down the freezer a hell of a lot quicker. And uh, let's get this one going. Okay. So see if I can do this one some justice. Give it a bit of head. And it's not too bad. It's quite good. See if I can get in a little bit closer for you. Uh, it's pretty good. It's not fruity at all. It's definitely bitter, hence called Forex Bitter. It's very crisp. And I've been drinking this for years and years, but I had to get it on the show. And I just love it. It goes down really smooth. So apart from uh, the, the few beers that I've already showed on the show, um, this is one here that's another mainstay of mine other than the Carlton Mid. But uh, as I said, I want to branch out. I want to try some new stuff. I want to try some micro brews. So in the future, we won't be doing most of the major brews it'll be a lot of the minor brews and um, I really really like the taste of this I like a very bitter beer and not too fruity and this certainly fits the bill and in the hot Queensland climate this thing uh, this forex bitter just goes down like a treat it's going to be cold and uh, I'll show you the carton there it is there it's pretty distinctive red for it. Uh, there's the, the brewery up there. Uh, this is, comes in 30 pack. Um, it's 375 mils per can and it's full strength beer. It's 4.6% alcohol and uh, well, what we classify as full strength. I'd like to try one that's around the 8 or the 9% but we'll get there. We will get there. So um, no packaging on the inside. It's very, very vanilla. It's just packed with 30 cans and uh, yeah they retail for around the between 40 to 45 dollars or so uh, for those ones there here in Australia at the moment but um, other than that uh, catch you on the next show cheers I forgot to give it a rating okay this is this is going to be uh, a top shelf beer until it gets knocked down to um, maybe a mid-shelf by another brew. Um, I actually did try one the other day, which was a Mexican beer, which, uh, for the life of me, the, the name escapes. I did buy a carton of it, and it's scheduled for three shows in the future. Uh, I've got uh, some backlog to get through uh, from a couple of months ago. So until then, I'll talk to you later. And you might notice, too, I've done away with the green screen. I want to get out and about. In fact, I want to try and do a different aspect, a different background, for every show and I'd like to be able to get out as well and uh, show you some different sites around here and go to different locations. Um, I think however it is illegal to drink um, outside of a private property or on a licensed venue uh, but we'll see what we can do. Alright, cheerio, bye.